Alrighty guys, Kevin Mises of here, and today we are going to bring you, as you probably tell from the title of this video, a auto, well not auto, yeah it is automatic, automatic sugarcane farm. As you see right here, I have sugarcane right here, let's go ahead and harvest all this, but see, I have to harvest it all myself. So today I'm going to be bringing you how to make a automatic one. It is a lot easier to make, you can make it as big as you want or you can make it as little as you want. There is really no restrictions on it. All you need is access to the nether because you have to have nether quartz for this build to get an observer. Or you could make it manual and you never have to go to the nether yet. If you haven't went to the nether, nether yet, what you'd have to do is sort of do this. Basically, basically just build it exactly like I'm doing, but instead of an observer, you'd have to use a um, lever or a button or whatever. Okay, so this is all the materials you'll need for the build in the chest above. Probably a little bit of blocks. Actually, I got blocks in there, so I should be good. Uh, need I'm building mine 16. By 16, um, be right back. All right, I am back. So yeah, like I said, you'll need all this stuff right here in the for the build. You also need a shovel and a pickaxe. Oh, you don't need a hoe or nothing like that. You also need two buckets of water. I have a third on my inventory just from doing some other stuff earlier. Um, actually, you need glass panes, not this. But I'm actually, I don't think you need either one. I'm just not going to even use this. Um, yeah, but let's grab all this stuff up real quick. And I'll show you how to build it. First of all, okay, so this is how it's going to be looking. You're going to have this right here. Right here is where the sugar cane is going to be. So let me move the dirt over. Right here's you can't you can use sand or dirt. I prefer using dirt because it's easier to come by. But a lot of people prefer sand because they say it goes quicker. It really don't. But it's what if you want to use it, you can. You can do whichever you would like to do. Do that like that. Do this like this. Put that right there. That right there. Until you get yourself one whole infinite water source. Then just block it all off like this. You don't have to, but I just did it for the heck of it. Now, I don't think you'll catch 100% of the sugar cane. But since you'll be catching so quick, so much of it while you're just running around your base doing stuff that you're doing. But, of course, the longer you make it, the more chances you'll have of getting more and more sugar cane. So, the longer you make it, the better it is for it. Like mine right now, this is probably going to get built way bigger later on. But for right now, I just want to do this. Okay, there is 16 blocks. Then what you do is you grab, like I said, you probably need temporary, well, not temporary blocks, you need permanent blocks too. So I'm just going to use spruce logs also. Stuff you, you can also use the dirt, the leftover dirt I have. I can use that, but I just want to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to use spruce. And it is nighttime. God, I just went to sleep too. That's the bad way. Bad thing. Let me go over here and go to sleep real quick. And yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, but it's going to require 16 pistons, or if you just want to do one, it would require one piston and one observer, or lever and redstone. If you want to do 100, you have to 100 pistons and one observer. You only need one observer for what I'm doing it for. My way is a sort of good way. I'll show you what my way is. So, let me get this all set up. I think I need to go right here. You go right here. Actually, no, you go three blocks. You go up to the third block, do it like this, put the observer, and the observer goes the other way. Freak, I forgot about that. I ain't messed around with observers in a super long time, so I know how to work with them. I just not mess with them in a while. There's actually a planned video a long time ago. I was planning on doing this video, I just never done it. I uh, actually want the redstone signal to go out like this. What changed? Oh, really? Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know it could actually change like that. Okay, you want to go out like this. And then what you want to do is have the pistons where they are like this. On the second block. Not the first block, the second block. Because if you put it on the first block, it will, of course, break the sugarcane. It will not grow again. I also want to do one. I'm also going to do one with um, cactus, too. So, let's do that. Let me go grab my other piston. There goes you. Actually, you're going to have to put it out. This is actually going to be a five block build. Five by how many blocks you need. By however big you want it. That's how big this build is going to be. In case you want to know the um, thing on it. It'll be in the description like always how big this build is. It's going to be. Mine is 17 by 5. So. It depends on how big you make it. 
if you want it with just one, it will require two blocks, my spine blocks. Yeah, I mean, so it's just one block by each piece of sugarcane, and then so forth and so forth. I'm actually gonna put dirt on. Dirt will probably look better right here. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better. Then I'm gonna box it all in so nothing will come and mess around with the rest on like a creeper or something, come blow the stuff up. Then you're probably gonna need repeaters too. That's why I got 10 of them. I might actually have to go make some more. But let's see how far it can go right now. Let's do you like this. This one I got the repeaters for, and I don't have a inventory. That's what I got the repeaters for, if you were wondering. All you have to do is take a repeater and do it like this, and then you have a rest on signal also. So you don't have to just steady use repeaters. I learned this a long time ago. Do like that, do like that, do like that. You need not even 10. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Okay, hopefully this can stretch signal, but I do not think it will be able to stretch signal all the way through. So I'll probably have to make like a little indention out or something. Um, let's see, how do I chest this like this? Ah, oh, that's great. Still couldn't see it. Um, trying to think, trying to think. Oh, I need a redstone torch or something. Oh yeah, I can just make a lever. Le lever. Real quick, do that like that. I think it should stretch almost the whole way, but I don't think it will. Let's see. Are you serious? The last one won't pick up. Really? Dang, that actually sucks a lot. Let me think of a way to stretch this signal. As far as I can go with blocks. Uh, like I said, this is an easy way to do it too. You just need a stretch signal just for a couple blocks. That's something easy to do too. And it shouldn't keep it going. And of course it would keep it going. Uh, oops, I did it on the wrong circuit. Dang it, I'm an idiot. I think I did it on the wrong circuit. Like that, I do believe. Nope, it just won't work like that. I was gonna remove piston. That'd be the easiest thing to do. I'm just gonna make it a 15 then. And I'll build later. I'll add another one on later if I have to, if I need to. I don't think I will though. But that's how it's supposed to work. Okay, so just for say. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to make all that bone meal, whatever. Okay, this is how it's supposed to work. Okay, well actually, no, we need to do one more thing before we actually start it off. We need to break this chest because for some reason on bedrock. The minecarts are not wanting to interact with chests like they used to anymore. Let's take this glass. Take the glass, put it down here, put it on top of your chest. You can use any other block, like stair or something like that, even though I don't even think stairs work on bedrock anymore. Because, of course, I am playing on bedrock. You want to do it like this. You want to put a hopper right there, feeding them to a chest, and the rest of it being powered rails. I think I just pushed that. I don't think it pushed itself. Are you serious? What in the heck is wrong with bedrock right now? Okay, well you don't need another hopper on bedrock. Uh, do I have enough iron to make one? I don't have the iron in my inventory. But anyway, this is how it's supposed to work. This is supposed to grow like this. All everybody's supposed to grow up, and then one will grow. One will eventually grow three blocks in front of the observer, and it chops it all down. And then you can just come along and collect it all up. Well, actually, the minecart will come collect it all up, or you can manually collect it if you'd rather do that. But yeah, that's how you do it. Or if you're playing on Bedrock, I don't know if you can do this on Java Edition L. Also, you can come over here. This is kind of a cheesy little thing to do. But the tick speed, you can take the... Oh, wait, I don't think you can change tick speed. Oh, can you not change it in regular? But you can just change tick, tick speed. I've had mine, personally, on other servers on, like, 300. Running, and they're running fine. I've also had it running at 100 on two players and it ran fine and this would grow super quickly super quickly and everything actually i'm going to show you the other no i don't think i have that world anymore i had another world where i had it all built up and everything but uh yeah that is basically how you make an automatic sugarcane farm and i thought i had a fence gate right here but i guess i do not need to put one in but that's basically how you make an automatic sugarcane farm i'll show you how it really works with some 
dang iron ingots and the other other stuff. This is just where I throw all my stuff in my inventory. If I don't if I need some more, I throw it real quickly. Let me do one, two, three, four, five. Do that like that. Let's just build another hopper real quick. I don't know what the heck is going on with bedrock condition with the mine corks. It's all messed up. It's actually messing me up on a lot of builds and stuff. To be honest. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Need to chop that. Need to put another rest on. Need to put another thingy right there. Hopper. Do that. Then you put. Oops. Not a lever. You actually. You actually don't have to put a double chest, but I just do it for the heck of it, just in case. But then that goes like that. And this should come back. Is it because there's a power? No power rail right here. Why is the idiot? Is it didn't recognize that? And of course you break. This might be my problem with another farm I have. I might just be an idiot. And I'm an idiot, of course I am. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this and move it on somewhere else then. And why won't it let me pick this up? Okay, there we go. Then you top that down. I'm gonna just change this up real quick. All you have to do is chop this up, chop that up right there, put this right there. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this hopper for another build. Okay, I want this block to get eight. So do that like that, do that like this. Then all you do is take this power rail, do like that, put it on top, chop this block down, and I don't know why I'm using a pickaxe, but I am, of course. Could have switched right there, but I didn't. Okay, there you go. Now it's fixed, and it should still let M items flow perfectly. Come on. You hit the block. Nope, glass blocks are also messing up. So I'm gonna have to use the other harbor. <laughs> oh boy, this is a little, that's one fun thing I love about redstone. You learn different things each time you ever do it. And do I, do I not pick up the other hopper? I guess the hoppers are flowing, finally. I mean the, yeah, the hoppers, they are hoppers. Okay, so this one I want to test out. So you don't know, so you know it is not, the rest of them is not messed up the hopper. There you go. But this has supposed to work, anywho. While you're just running around your base doing normal stuff, like me mining my farm and stuff, me working my villagers and stuff, all this is supposed to grow up. Probably not three blocks every time, but close enough. Should grow pretty tall, just like this. And the final one will hit that observer. So like I said, some of it will not get picked up. I've had that problem before, but most of it will come over here to the place in which it needs to go. Let's see how much is in here right now. And I can't check. There we go. Just 17 in there right now. That's 17 more than what you would have if you did more over here. Steady mine your sugarcane because I've left my sugarcane alone for a super long time. I'm sure there's other ways you make it so it's better. Um, if you actually, if you take blocks and do like this, since then we know that is a problem. Do like that. There you go. Now, now sure can cannot come up here. And then I'm gonna take this glass and go up here. So now it cannot escape. Either it has to come in or out. It either goes where the sugar where the sugar cane plant is or it is out basically and then you can box this in so no mobs or nothing will come in and then all you have to do is just come over here so often and check and make sure how much sugarcane you got that time we got 24 sugarcane i had not stack in my inventory from earlier but yeah i mean that's all you basically have to do to make an automatic sugarcane farm like i said i'll come over here earlier and, and later and box this whole thing in put torches in here so no mobs mobs spawn put torches up there so no mobs or nothing will spawn in here so it won't mess up any of your uh redstone because they'll get in the way of the minecart stopping it and all that stuff 
But anyways, guys, if you guys have liked this video and want to see more of these automatic farms, I want to do a cactus farm one. And I think there's a I think you can do bamboo too like this. But uh, anyways, like I said, if you want to see more of these little bit of automatic farms, please give this video a big old fat thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell so I can notify each video at least. I release videos. I release two videos a day. Some Minecraft, some a lot more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.